Kevin's Kwanzaa by Lisa Bullard, illustrated by Constanza Vasaluzo. Chapter one, ready for Kwanzaa. Hi, I'm Kevin. See the decorations I'm making? We're getting ready for Kwanzaa. That's a special holiday for my family. Mom says it celebrates our African-American culture. Long ago, many Africans were forced to come to the United States. They came as slaves. Slaves had very hard lives. The Civil War ended slavery in the United States in 1865. But sometimes, African-Americans have still been treated unfairly. Kwanzaa is a way for them to come together. They celebrate their shared African culture. Mom puts out a mat on the table. I add the candle holder and candles. Mom adds fruits and vegetables. There's an ear of corn for each kid. The Kwanzaa holiday began in the United States, but parts of it come from old African celebrations. These celebrations were held when the crops were ready. The fruits and vegetables remind people of this. Next comes the Unity Cup. Didn't I do a great job decorating it? We put out presents too. Now we're ready for Kwanzaa. Chapter two, lighting the candles. Kwanzaa lasts for seven days, from December 26th until January 1st. We light another candle each night. I can hardly wait for my turn. It's on the last night. Grandpa goes first. Tonight he lights the black candle. The candle holder has three red candles, three green candles, and one black candle. The candles are lit in a special order. Then Grandpa explains the Kwanzaa word for the first day. Every day has a special word in Swahili. That's an African language. The word Kwanzaa also comes from Swahili. Grandpa's word means unity. That's sticking together as a group. Grandpa says sticking together is why Kwanzaa began. A man named Dr. Malana Karenga created Kwanzaa in 1966. Many people have worked to make the lives of African Americans better. Lots of important work took place in the 1950s and the 1960s. Dr. Karenga created Kwanzaa during this time. He wanted to bring African Americans together. He wanted them to feel proud of their shared African background. I guess it worked because I sure feel proud. Chapter three, another word each night. Somebody else lights the candles each night. I want to be ready for my turn, so I watch closely. Families might also share other activities each night of Kwanzaa. Some families have everyone drink water or juice from the unity cup. Mom lights the candles on the third night. We talk about helping one another solve problems. Mom says maybe we can work together on my messy bedroom problem. My brother lights the candles on the fifth night. We talk about setting goals to help our community. Right now I have two goals. I want to grow up to be a teacher and I want to light the Kwanzaa candles. Most people who celebrate Kwanzaa live in the United States. They are part of the African American community but people in other countries also celebrate. They usually come from an African background. The sixth night of Kwanzaa is my favorite. We go to a big party every year. The word for the sixth day means creativity. Creativity is an important part of Kwanzaa. People make their own decorations. They make Kwanzaa presents for one another. I boom boom with the drummers. I stomp stomp with the dancers. I eat and eat. Chapter four, finally, my turn. It's the last day of Kwanzaa. I like opening my presents, but I like lighting the candles even more. Grandpa says my special word means faith. He said I should believe in our people every day. That will be like living Kwanzaa all year long. Mm -hmm.